My name is Brendan. This is Shifty Shit Garage. What's up, all you cool cats and kittens? I'm Carol Baskin. We um, bought a GoPro, have a shitty computer, have like four hours of video that I can't upload because my computer is too fucking slow to process all the video. So here's a quick update. Um, I'll post a lot of pictures in the video and stuff of the progress I've made, but got my ICT billet, um, truck, truck size, uh, obviously alt and power steering relocation brackets on, um, got a truck pump, obviously. So shaved, finished shaving the engine bay. Just kind of shot some black on there for now to cover up the clean spots so they don't rust. And then I'll come back through and, you know, fill in all the holes I don't need when I have a better welder here. Um, and then I'll, you know, I'll uh, skim coat everything and, and hand sand it all smooth and and uh, actually get it, you know, the color I want. Not that I know what color I want yet, but I don't really want black. So, I don't know yet. Um, got my ECU mounted. I used a dirty dingo relocation mount and uh, actually it it uh, screwed in there perfectly to these stock brackets that were in there don't remember what they were for um, you know it's real sturdy tight tight up in there on the wires but uh, they'll be fine coil brackets uh, I don't know if you guys have seen them or not I don't think so should have bought some dirty dingo ones but you know instead I wasted my own four hours or whatever it took built my own um, got a truck harness from my parents down in Ohio um, delivered by a friend it's a green gr red green harness so it's a drive-by wire um, so I gotta you know toss in some connectors for my throttle body because I'm doing drive-by cable um, I gotta do a handful of other stuff on it I gotta shorten the whole thing like three feet um, I pretty much pulled out what the LT1 swap website said I didn't need and then I'll go back and pull out any other stuff that I'm 100% sure I don't need and I'll add in my second speed sensor because this is a four-wheel drive truck harness. So I'll add my second speed sensor. Probably going to remove the math and run speed density. Um, I pulled my uh, coil plugs back. Them are obviously getting put up in there. I bought some real short harnesses on Amazon for like 30 bucks for the coils because I tried doing it with the stock ones and that's just a shit show. Um, got plenty of room down in here for exhaust. Um, I'm going to probably cut my steering right there and angle it down a little bit on both sides because after, well, A, I got my transmission mount in. That's, you know, the motor's freestanding by itself where it's going to be. Um, after I set it down with all of its weight and glory, the rubber bushings compressed a little bit and messed up my gap down there, so whatever. Um, I'll get that figured out or I might shorten my pan more. I don't know. Um... What else? Got got my uh, trans tunnel welded up half ass on the driver's side over here. Um, I got some more beating from the inside to do and more tacking and then I'm just gonna caulk it all shut and put carpet over it. So this side, I gotta clean up some of this rust here. Um, get that out of the way. Get a, like a false floor pan in here so that way your foot's not going through the floor and then uh, weld this side up and uh, caulk everything. So, I'll add pictures as well, but I got bra I built some bracing this morning. I took some 2-inch, 8-inch channel, slid it where it was starting to bend, bent it to that profile, drilled a bunch of uh, butt weld holes in there, and there's probably 50 holes in each one. So it's, it's on there, it's not going anywhere. And then this is inch and a half by, I think, 8th C channel, that's only like 3 eighths tall. So I just welded that in solid, ran out of wire, I gotta finish that up. Um, put in a little bit of a spacer to get the trans up to where I needed it. Um, next is gonna be drive shaft measurement. Uh, possibly cut these carrier bearing bushings out, or mounts out, I don't know yet. Um, yeah, that's it's coming along really quick. So I've got a transmission cable bracket I'm going to use a stock bar. might move it if, like, cut it and move it if I need to. I got my stock stock parts in the mail from a buddy. Um, where is that? Ouch. Ouch, that's really sharp. <laughs> um, I got a stock shifter, so that works. I can uh, hook up the stock cable right to here. 
and uh, shift. So I got a four foot B&M universal cable coming. It's gonna go probably up through here underneath the dash and then zigzag back around and hook to the, da to the trans. And then, uh, yeah, I should have it, you know, pretty pretty far along. Set the dash back in there just so it's out of my way. It's I got all my wiring taken out. Um, gonna buy some AN adapters for my oil cooler. Um, I'm measuring for a radiator right now. I'm pretty sure I've got an Amazon one figured out for about 180 bucks. Um, I cut this out of the way so that way I can take the motor and trans out as one whenever you know if i ever need to again and it was kind of in my way and i didn't feel like you know splitting everything so whatever i'll make that bolt back in so that way it pulls the front end back together um that was kind of a dumb idea but we're here now so yeah uh, i need to get trucking on my oil pan again um but kind of glad i didn't finish it out because i'm still on the fence about it might redo it i don't know we'll see um Motor mounts, I need to move the motor passenger side a half inch because it should be at 14 on the center of the balancer. It's about 15 and a half, 15 and three quarters. So I need to get that to 14 because the width of the, of the frame is 28. So the transmission centered, the front of the motor is not. That's, you know, that's because I built these two hanging spec, um, kind of rushed them. They're kind of mock-up so i plan on redoing them at some point anyways so yeah that's a quick update um i'll uh, post more in-depth videos of everything as i you know as i did it once i get my computer crap figured out so i just don't have the time or really the care right now to do that just really want to get this thing going so i've got 80 percent of the stuff here i think um i think the next big purchase is going to be a willwood master cylinder and probably 60 feet of stainless line and I'll bring home my hydraulic crimpers from work and uh, get some brake lines in here and and whatnot get the brakes up and going again and then um, I think I have I think they're LS1 stock manifolds I'm gonna cut the back side off of the driver's side I'm gonna cut it somewhere around here and do a three inch or two and a half inch elbow and uh, so that way I can dump it right through here. You know, I'll cut these ears off. They don't, you know, I don't need them at all. And then uh, exhaust will dump right down. I'll cross right under the torque converter. And I'll hook on and just do a 3-inch single. And uh, be done with it for now. I'd like to do an 8 into 1. But a uh, little out of my reach right now. Um, that's, you know, that's a hell of a, hell of a project. So... Uh, it's just a quick update, a little eight minute video here. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, I gotta pull my uh, two wheel drive output shaft out of this empty shell I have and put it into my 80,000 mile 4L80 I've got here for, paid 300 bucks for it. And then uh, put it all back together and that'll be going in. Um, Got to add some, like say, add some wiring to the transmission harness. I got to get a second speed sensor in there. I got to rewire the 60 plug for an 80. I got to, I got to take all of my positives here and whatnot and uh, put them to a fuse block. Probably just going to do like an Amazon 12 fuse, fuse block and uh, probably mount it right there. So it'll be nice and hidden underneath the glove box here and uh still accessible so that still leaves room for my vintage air setup in there which wow i really do have a lot of room so i'll be able to make uh make this thing have some heat and air at some point the dash all the vents under the dash are still pretty well intact um i can get get it up and running you know when i'm ready so uh that's that Scruples, y'all got to go. We taking over this club tonight. Little Johnny Side Boy, hey, yeah, yeah. Let's get this thing crushed.
so clean that she could not push the pin of ass in me in the mind. This girl is fine. I done came to the club out fit the limb down. Then I play with your pen and line. The club wanna say I need to calm down. Security guard gonna swim me now. Play a drunk man, I'm up. Threaten me now. She getting drunk in the club, I mean she working. And then I like to see the female twerking. Taking her clothes off, ooh, she naked. ATL shot it on disrespect kid. I put a pop your thing like this. Cause she and Yang twin and it's B.I. Lil' John and the East Side boys with me. And we all like to see Tig on business. So bring yourself over here, girl. And let me see you get low. If you want this dude, now take it to the floor. To the floor. Ooh, if you want to act, what? you can keep yourself where you at. 369. Damn, damn, damn.